I started doing art in high school and then got serious about it in college. I have a Bachelor of Fine Art in drawing and printmaking. I have been working two and a half years as a full-time artist. My preferred medium is oil. I think it has a, a nice buttery texture to it that remain, remains timeless. I do mostly realism with a little bit of impressionism. I don't like it to look just like a photo. If I wanted a photo, I would take a photo, and that's tedious. A few different artists come to mind, uh, Caravaggio, Rembrandt. I like the old masters and their, their compositions, their techniques, their shapes, their form, um, and, it's, it's, and it's got an iconographic type of look to it. Um, I also grew up in the church, so Byzantine iconography was prevalent every week, and I take a lot from that. I start with at least a couple weeks of drawing and, and just notes, actually not even drawing, but just notes. And then I go in and do an imprimatura, which is just a, a layer of either burnt sienna or raw sienna or something neutral, and then let that dry. And then I do a, a layer of grisaille, which is just black and white, that's the dead layer, to, to give everything the form of how the light hits, kind of like a CAD drawing. And then I do two or three layers of color to really bring the form out and really exhibit what I'm looking to exhibit. All of my pieces are puzzles. Uh, they are uh, something to figure out. They're, they're little idiosyncrasies within them that say, oh, this is what's happening. But sometimes it takes a while to find them. It's uh, a lot of symbolism in my work that I like people to get the message without there being words to get them across. These people are all people that I know. Um, I paint my husband quite a bit, uh, Missing Muse, uh, Eyes of My Beholder. Uh, he's in a few other pieces. He's kind of like my, he's my muse. <laughs> And then uh, others are friends or people that uh, are in the music industry that deserve a painting that I'll go and finish the painting at their show. That is Lucid behind me. Um, he is a, a, an electronic performer. Uh, was playing a show in Pittsburgh that I was invited to and I reached out on Twitter. I said, hey Lucid, if you had to pick a bird, what would it be? And he said, an owl. And by the way, I like your handle because my handle is Lord of the Rings related. Sort of big Lord of the Rings fan. So I decided to put him in a Lord of the Rings-esque environment. And then the, uh, the symbol over here is Wakan, which is his label, or the label that he's on. When people look at my work, I just want them to think. It might not be about something specific, but I just want them to think about their existence, their life, their daily routine, their, you know, even something as simple as brushing your teeth and taking a shower, like you're doing something. And just be mindful of the people around you and how they have such a different life, but it's all the same. Not the same experience, but it is the same in a way. For more from Mosaic, please like and subscribe to the channel or check out another video. To help support this project, please visit witf.org mosaic.